We knew that there was going to be an increase in the prevalence of major depressive disorder and anxiety disorder uh, due over the course of the COVID-19 pandemic, based on what we've seen in past population shocks. But the major question that we had was, uh, by how much has it actually increased? And how do we go about quantifying this increase? So what we did was we did a systematic review uh, in looking at or trying to find studies uh, that reported the prevalence of major depressive disorder and anxiety disorder over the course of the pandemic, uh, aligned with equivalent pre-pandemic baseline estimates so that we could quantify what is the actual change, what is the increase in prevalence of these disorders. Then we developed a model that uh, estimated or predicted the change of that prevalence based on indicators of the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, what we found was that this increase was associated with two primary indicators. First was human mobility, how people's movements are in the population, and the daily COVID-19 infection rate in the population. Both of these were associated with the increase in prevalence of depression, of major depressive disorder and anxiety disorders. With this model, we were able to extrapolate uh, the estimated prevalence change across around the world uh, by age and by sex. We estimated a greater increase in, in females and in a greater increase among youth in the population. Overall, this led to a, an estimated increase globally of, of major depressive disorder and anxiety disorders of a, close to 30%.